and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Gruul midrange. So what we're doing here is we're taking the Gruul Arcbow deck that uh, I've been playing a lot on stream recently and having some good success with and a deck that Hawkeye is all excited about. So he came to join us. And I am going to try removing the arc bows from the deck and replacing them with Kioras. So this is the same 75 that we just played with Gruul Arcbow a few days ago over in Mythic, except for minus the four arc bows, plus three Kioras, and getting the fourth Paradise Druid in there as well. So I'm going to give this a try uh, instead. So we're going to use Kiora as like our card advantage engine that can help us draw cards, plus helps us ramp to these big creatures instead of using arc bow so let's see how that goes for us so that's our deck it's pretty straightforward we're going to play creatures we're going to attack that's what we got going on here and uh, let's get it going so we're going to play five matches over maybe four matches four four or five matches over in mythic i'll probably just play five because these games hopefully go fast hopefully we get to smash people Real quickly. Hawkeye smash. Man, if we just... If we knew we had another land... This hand would be pretty good. I'm going to keep it. We really just need one land. Get this Kiora down on turn three and then turn four, turn five. Start playing Null Hides that draw us cards. Sorry, excuse me. Rakdos Firewheeler. That's a pretty small looking human rogue for a 4 3. This acrobat here doesn't really seem like a 4 3. Alright, with our opponent playing an aggressive deck and us already behind him playing the Spellbreaker here instead of the Null Hide. Or sorry, instead of the Kiora. Sorry. If they have a coil, I'd rather them use the coil on the Spellbreaker than on my Phoenix. That is true. I mean, yeah, they do have... The Fire Wheeler does have Wheels of Fire, but still... Should, probably, should I be attacking the Spellbreaker also? But still, like, the, the Wheels of Fire is how the card comes in and gets to do the 2 damage uh, on ETB. The picture of the Fire Wheeler is taken 20 feet away. Ow. Uh, don't.
This Phoenix is gonna be tough to beat, honestly. Now that my Phoenix died. Maybe I should have just sacked the Spellbreaker. I don't really have removal in the main deck. Because I'm, like, relying on, like, Ravager Worm, you know, like, so, like, Rekindling Phoenix in particular. Because I'm relying on Ravager Worm, Domri. Yeah, there's nothing I can really draw from Ravager Worm here. Can't do anything. Yeah, we played Monterey Crisis. We went three and two. You can see up there. With the deck, it's uploading now on the YouTube channel. Silly Chain Whirler. Chain Whirler is a heck of a card. I'm going to try taking out Paradise Druids because of Chain Whirler. He's so soft. So fluffy. This guy's just laying here. Hanging out. Do me with that resub here. Ding. Three months. Really appreciate your content. You're one of the few streamers who really delves into their decisions and decks in a positive way. Well, thanks, Do me. Glad to have you here. Glad you're enjoying the stream and everything. And I really, really appreciate that support. So thank you very much, Doomy. This hand would be so good if we had a forest. Oh, if we had a forest, this hand would be great. Let's update that. I don't think we can keep it without a forest, though. No, we probably just can't keep this. All right, being on the play, it's a very important thing. Ilharg next turn, potentially. I defy gods, defying you. Will be the ocean surges, life thrives. Guess we'll keep the shock up. We saw, saw you know, like Dreadhorde Butcher and everything. Rude. <laughs> Time to ebb from battle. Attack. All right, so we're both stuck on lands. If we get another land and get to play Ilharg, Ilharg putting in Ravager Worm. That's a GG. Keeping the coil for Phoenix. 
And the great part about Spellbreaker having this Hexproof here, we don't have to worry about them also having a Shock and like blowing us out there with the first Strike Shock. All right, game number three. This is the main time where having Paradise Druid kind of betrays you it's against the Chain Whirler decks here. Yeah, I have the Cinder. I have the four Cinder Vines there because of Nexus making the comeback <clears throat> before I had Brontodon. So I like Brontodon's a lot better against Mono Red, but you need Cinder Vines for Nexus. If you're not really facing any Nexus, then replacing them with Brontodon's is good. You can also kind of go with the split. Drawing backup Ravager Worm, not really where we'll, where we want to be right now. We need to find something to do in, in the mid game here. Okay, good. No Chain Whirler. That's good news. Our opponent not doing anything forever is also good news. Of course, that will be not so good if they have Rekindling Phoenix, but we're going to be like playing stuff the next few turns, so I'm just not going to take the four damage from that Fire Wheeler. Ugh. Worst case scenario, of course. We drew the wrong god. Ilharg would have been a much better draw than Ronus here. Oh, come on. Well, speaking of Ilharg. Next turn we can get both worms in. Ilhark would bring one worm to the party and then we'll cast the other one. No, one one counter wasn't better there because I was gonna be I was gonna be attacking for lethal. 
so why why should I have done a one-one counter? I was gonna be attacking for lethal. Like if we had that other Ravager worm in also, we would have been able to eat another thing. Like they were dead. Oh, on the second one. Oh yes, the second one. Oh sorry, yes. Yes, the second one, one one counter was better. Sorry, sorry. Yes. It it still would have died to the, the chump block anyway though. That that cast down saved our opponents. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't have mattered, because, yeah, they would have still blocked it, killed it. But, yeah, no, choosing 1-1 one, one counter is what I'm supposed to be doing there. Yep, so close. Phoenix is a great card. Great card. I mean, no, I had to go for lethal there for how how they like attacked at the one. I definitely thought I was dead on a swing back. So I, I think going for lethal there was the thing to be doing, to be honest. Yeah, if I play Domri and fight and kill the Snubhorn, then the Law, Law Rune Enforcer kills the Domri. And so I'm just like sitting the next turn in the same spot that I just was. But a Snubhorn sentry is off the battlefield. Octopuses, serpents. Oh, I love them all. I love to make a splash. Gotta draw lands. Let's get moving. Looks like we're dead here. Should not be attacking with this their 2-2 here. That thing's gonna be a lot bigger the next turn. You want our style? You got it. <laughs> no more getting pushed around. Nature flows with vigor. Gideon. This is a prime day for justice. I believe in you. Monitor Crisis is almost up on YouTube. It's probably got another like 10 minutes or so. 
did you do? Taking seven, going to six. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> So this, we're going to one, just on, on the battlefield right now. I believe in you, friend. You have something indestructible. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I have to block those three and go to one. Uh, a second flyer. All right, so they have five. Five things out, so I need... I need four blockers. So close. If I just had one more land, I, I can't. I can't untap this other land wall. Also, just had that extra land. Ravnica deserves its demise. I mean, Giddy can also just attack. They have three attackers. I have two blockers. I will lend you my strength. That was unfortunate. Two lander. Thorn Lieutenant really doing anything in here? Maybe. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, from the newest code, uh, the cards, you can get cards from the last three sets from the three Ravnica sets. So they're not <clears throat> they're not giving out any cards that rotate out.
me, boys. We will rise again. Well, no more lands, please. Why do we have to have, like, the two lander one game and then just continually draw lands here this other game? Every draw being a land. Cool. Our opponent has all their tribunals. That's, that's nice. Hey, we drew a spell. Spells are good. Seriously, they have another tribunal? Come on. There's a fourth removal spell. Yeah, our opponent's playing four, and so yeah, they have three of the four. If you think I'm a crazy, you're gonna take a gander. Any geese here? Well, the good news is we hit a lot of cards there. The bad news is now, now those other cards are at the bottom, you know, like now we'll probably draw some lands. Oh, come on. So I took the Spellbreaker here so that they couldn't just tap my Phoenix and then have a free, you know, have a free attack that I was still gonna, I was gonna be able to eat something. Just had another. Like your old mouth and no head. Removal spell. Alright, these knights are gonna be four threes. This is definitely a turn to hold back and block. Ravager Worm will be eating this Adanto the first fort. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, if I hit cancel... Yeah. Why didn't they attack with the flyer there? Oh, I wish I could blow up tribunals with Ravager Worm. <laughs> Ravager Worm doesn't eat, eat enchantments though. That card's broken. Of course. Oh. Wow. 
Must be nice. We were doing good at, you know, we drew our second Ravager Worm, but since then, six draws. I've just been three lands and three mana creatures for my last six draws. And our opponent's drawn 75% of their removal spells in 20 cards. Like, if they're playing four and four, they've drawn six of the eight. gross I took out too much like I maybe took out too much of my card advantage you know like taking out the key auras I don't know I just tribunal everything anyway Arena is a lot better than Magic Online, and I like Standard more than Modern. So put those together, and I play Standard. All right, good looking hand. Oh, we're playing a mirror, good, my good mate. Oh, great day to fight. I'll show you drywall. something I love to make a splash. Yeah, it's a lot easier to play land destruction in modern. That's true. Not nearly as good of land destruction here in standard. Need that land. Nature flows with vigor. I'm so tired of losing to Esper that you're playing Esper. That's that's why I've been wanting to face. I want to face Esper. We we can't we can't actually get like we're not getting paired against it at all. I like facing Esper with this deck. Hey, Night Owl. It's been surprising we haven't faced Esper in a long time.
draw ripples and grows. The ocean surges, life thrives. I should have played the Domri first before the Null Hide, because it was actually my plan was to play Domri here, not Spellbreaker. <laughs> I kinda forgot about like the Null Hide part. Like whoops. Looks like we're getting smashed in the mirror here. I love to make Kona with the splash. Carnage Tyrant in the main. It's a good one. But they're hitting their land drops, able to keep playing a bunch of spells. I dance. didn't do a very good job of hitting land drops before. I would have played that card the previous turn. Omri's Ambush is awesome in this mirror match. Maybe I do just need to play more Domri's Ambushes. It's a card I've just kind of avoided. That everybody needs me, I, t I need to play more of. Or maybe I do. I have been too stubborn with that card. certainly possible. I do like Thrash. Yeah, maybe I've just been un underrating that card for too long.
Yeah, it's 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 a removal spell that you can, it's a two mana removal spell that you can't play on turn two. Which is why I've and also that you know if if your opponent has an instant speed removal for your creature, also it's not doing anything. It's like both of those are problems with the card, and so I've just stayed away from it, but. I don't know. Everybody plays that. I don't. I don't see like many other people playing Thrash. You know, I play Thrash in the Feather deck. I, I like Thrash. Thrash does the same thing and is instant speed. It just doesn't. It, except for it just doesn't give the one one counter. Hands off. Always rise again. All right, so they only have one card left. Hey, Vector. Yeah, this is Gruel, not Arcbow. Ah, it's a beautiful day now. We won't answer to other guilds. gonna let you pace me oh, have at it boys <laughs> hmm not looking good I should have just attacked with the Carnage Tyrant the turn before and just let them attack me back with Ill Harg and just try to race. No, no, put me back in. Okay. That's a good one. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Big creature. Yeah, 
If I trade off Ilharg's there, then my opponent actually draws, gets their Ilharg back first. I'm wanting to, I'm not really attacking here. I'm wanting to hopefully be able to, you know, draw a big thing and be able to attack with Ilharg and the big thing. All right. We just took it, went to two. Said, what do you got? They got nothing. Mm. I'm going to take out... Uh, Spellbreaker for another coil. Spellbreaker seems a little s small in this matchup. Good looking hand, but you know they they start playing six sixes. And I could die pretty quickly. Alright. We both dodged the Atlanta War Elf start. No, they have a Druid. We're keeping up, but... No more lands. Come on, deck. We need 6-6s. Six we need Null Hide. That? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. There we go. It does make my Kiora and Domri worse, for sure, by having the Nullhide in play. I guess I should have just played my own Planeswalkers whenever they play the Domri. I should have just played my own Domri or Kiora. I suppose. So they missed a land drop, huh? No, I couldn't play both Planeswalkers this turn. I would, would have had like access to five mana. if you think I'm a crazy beast, where do you see my mates? Dang. That's scary. Not to brag, but my nature flows with vigor. 
They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> That's probably us being dead. <laughs> My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. <laughs> That's the sound of a stampede coming straight at you. Lost the mirror. GG. Ravager worm. Oh, a demanding dragon. Okay. I'm not belly flop. Not by a long shot. Well, I guess we're not super dead to that. I suppose. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. I guess the game's not over. They can only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> what, was, what was the point of that? Let's just fight. There'll be nothing but dust when I'm done. All right, we'll trade Dom Reigns. No, no, put me back in. And they may just hit me for five, but that's okay. Getting that Domri out of there, so I want to get that Domri out of there, so they can't just like play a six six here and then fighting my Phoenix and everything. Bet you've never been hugged by a crack. Ronus is doing okay. Yeah, Ronus is, you know, not spectacular, but you'll see. Good card. Sixteen. That was really a killer drawing land back to back these last two turns. One drop ripples and grows. Hey, Elijah, it's okay. Thank you so much for that donation. <laughs> that was very, very kind of you. Thank you very much. I 
needed something else here. That's game. I don't have anything I can possibly draw. I have to block. They play a new, new hill hog that also attacks the Phoenix. Yeah, those lands were... Those lands really killed us. Bleh. Alright, I think I'm going to call it a night here with the 03. I think that's enough magic for me tonight. GG's good mate. GG's. How are you liking the deck? There. So yeah, the, the Domery's ambushes in there. Those those looked great in that matchup, especially when you don't have to worry about like your creatures dying or anything, and the Domery's ambushes were just phenomenal. For that. Like I don't I don't have removal for six sixes, but ambush is a good removal spell there. You don't like the Ronus? Yeah. Ronus doesn't work that great with Nullhide, because making Nullhide bigger isn't really that important. Ronus is really only good with Ilharg and Phoenix. And Spellbreaker, like those three cards. Yeah, you know, like when you're already attacking with those. But yeah, I could see I could see just Carnage Tyrant just being a better card than Ronus. I could definitely see that. In the deck. Good mate, do you like do you like Ambush more than Thrash? I haven't really gotten why everybody wants to play Domri's Ambush and nobody wants to play Thrash. So Domri's Ambush gets puts a counter on your creature. And like it puts a counter on your creature, but then it's also a sorcery where Thrash doesn't put the counter on, but it's an instant. But then you also have the threat part where if you don't if you don't have the creature, it's not just a dead card in hand. You get to spend four mana and make a four four, which works pretty well with Kiora, you know, making a four four. Well, there's no growth chamber guardians in this deck. I don't, I don't understand why, like, even all the feather decks and everything, everybody's just playing Domri's Ambush. Why why don't people play Thrash? Besides specifically with, like, the only time I feel like Domri, Domri's Ambush is better is whenever you're playing uh, the 1-2. That, or I guess Growth Chamber Guardian also. Yeah, Growth Chamber Guardian or Krenko. It lets you trade up. But yeah, when when your creatures are already so big, it there's there isn't any trading up, right? Like these things are are huge. This lets you kill Planeswalkers also. Does does Ambush give you Trample or something? No? You just put a 1-1 counter on your creature. This just seems so much more narrowed. Like, you you only get a 1-1 you get a one -one counter and it's sorcery speed. Instead of being instant speed... And then also just having a, a second half of a card being able to make a 4-4. Four four. I don't know. Because like against even against like the planeswalker decks, like the removal heavy decks, like they'll there's gonna be times like where they just kill all your all your creatures. Like they're just like killing your creatures and you just don't get to you just have like this Dahmer's ambush that's in your hand that doesn't get to do anything. 
where the thrash can always turn into a threat whenever you need it. Yeah, thrash is better with your mana too because you can have double red or double green. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Just see it. Yeah, like even all those those feather decks like trying to splash green for the for the Domri's ambush. I don't know. I don't. Oh well. Um, Okay, so you're saying you need the ambush to kill the five mana to fairy. So if you have a four four spellbreaker or a four three phoenix, they kill those kill five mana to fairy with ambush, but not with thrash. So how do you get to that scenario? You'd have to play like play Phoenix and Ambush in the same turn. Because otherwise, if you had your Phoenix in play, they're probably tucking your Phoenix. Kind of the same thing with Spellbreaker. Where you could still just go Spellbreaker, Haste, and then Thrash also. Unless there's like Spell... Like if there's a lot of... If there's like a lot of hero tokens in the way. I don't know. Anyway, uh... Favorite card ever printed is Courser of Crucifix. There. All right, so that's a uh, Gruel Midrange. Uh, didn't do very well today, but you know we just lost lost a couple matches, then lost a mirror match. So you went 0-2 and then then lost the mirror. Um, yeah, maybe maybe Ronus needs to be replaced here. Cure was okay for us. I don't know if it, you know. I, I don't know if our deck was really better without Arcbow, considering we didn't win any games. So maybe our deck wasn't better without Arcbow. But Cure was okay. It wasn't it wasn't bad. But maybe it wasn't as good as Arcbow. Because Arcbow is, is pretty incredible. So maybe this wasn't an upgrade. Um, yeah, the Mardu deck from yesterday, Leo, is a good deck. That's a, that's a really good Mardu deck, the one that we played yesterday. Uh, so yeah, so that's Gruel Midrange. Um, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some stuff and everything. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you like Arcbow more, if you like Kiora more. Um, let me know if you think that we should be taking out Ronus for Carnage Tyrant in the main deck. Uh, if I should, or if I should be taking him out. If I should be playing some Domri's Ambushes in the main or Thrashes. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think there. All right. Uh, yeah. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching uh, Gruel Midrange here, and I will see you for another video.